You know, I think it would take a very brave broadcaster indeed to actually have Tommy Robinson on as a guest to argue his point, say his bit, defend himself. But they won't do that, will they? What is it about the fella that they are scared of? Is it what he says? Is it how he says it? Is it his past? Then surely people's pasts can be overlooked. I mean, David Lammy all of a sudden thinks the world of uh, Donald Trump, the next president of the United States, after calling him all those names, calling him a neo-Nazi, Ku Klux Klan supporting, fascist, far right, you name it, he's called Donald Trump in. So if David Lammy, one of the biggest race baiters in the UK, can uh, <laughs> change his mind, then why can't broadcasters just change their mind on Tommy Robinson? Unless, of course, they know he's right on most things and uh, don't want to be seen to be agreeing with him because they've got their careers to think about, haven't they? And there's been open spats as well. Julia Hartley Brewer... As it go at uh, Tommy Robinson, um, Mike Graham, he had to go at Tommy Robinson, calling him every name under the sun. Now it's Peter Cardwell, and uh, last night or yesterday on his show on Talk TV, he called Tommy Robinson a racist without any evidence whatsoever and didn't have him there, of course, to defend himself because Tommy Robinson, as we all know, is in prison at the moment serving a 18-month stretch for contempt of court or producing a journalistic video, however you want to look at it. But maybe just like the rest of them, Cardwell is completely unable to see the distinct difference between racism and legitimate criticism and concerns of uh, different ways of life. Perhaps if any of these so-called journalists would attend one of the peaceful rallies that Tommy Robinson has organised, then perhaps they'd change their minds. But there we go, they all parrot the same stuff, don't they? Tommy Robinson's a racist without even producing any evidence. I mean, Piers Morgan's the same. A guy who's now suddenly jumped on the free speech bandwagon after Trump wins the uh, election in the US. And it just goes to show you can't really trust any of these uh, journalists stroke activists. I don't trust any of them. They sit there, they pretend to be right-wing and conservative, but I think it's all for pay, isn't it? And advancement in their journalistic careers up the ladder so yeah peter cardwell said that people are calling him out for it and rightly so often they'll have people call in members of the public and they'll have their opinions against someone and these hosts they'll tell them well they're not here to defend themselves so why is it all right for them to do this to tommy robinson you tell me you just can't trust the mainstream media folks none of them and that's that i'm paz 49 thanks for watching and until the next time roger trout